Hi folks, Dr. Wes Davis going to talk to you today about the Zika virus and the implications that it has for pregnancy. Now, Zika virus is an infection that is spread from a particular mosquito to people. This mosquito really doesn't live in Utah, fortunately, so this is not as big of a risk for those of us who just hang around this Utah area. However, there are parts of the country where there is transmission ongoing. There are parts of Texas and also potentially areas along the border of Mexico and California and definitely all of Mexico is a risk right now. If a pregnant mother becomes infected with the Zika virus it can cause serious birth defects uh, some of which are pretty scary in terms of brain development, eye development, uh, and some other musculoskeletal problems. So it's really important that we avoid this while pregnant. We're going to put a map up that shows you all the different areas across the world that right now have Zika virus transmission ongoing. It's primarily Mexico, one small area in Texas. At times it's been Miami, uh, one area in Miami, Florida, and a pretty big chunk of Africa and most of South America. You can get this information up to date at any time on the CDC website. So I definitely encourage anyone who's thinking about traveling outside the, U the U.S. to consult the CDC website before planning any travel. Now, if you have been to an area where Zika virus is actively being transmitted and you're pregnant or you're thinking about being pregnant in the near future, testing is available. That's run through the State Health Lab here in Utah and we have the resources here to connect people with the right testing lab and get definitive results. Another area that is a risk is if a partner travels to one of these areas, becomes infected, and comes home. This can be transmitted sexually. That's the other way that this can pass from one person to another is through intercourse. The only other way is primarily through mosquito bites. Now like I said before, the mosquito does not live here in Utah. We have mosquitoes, but not this particular type of mosquito. His name is Aedes aegypti. Fortunately, they don't like altitude and they don't like cold, so pretty much Utah's out. Now, if you must travel to one of these areas during the time that you are thinking about being pregnant or have become pregnant, then mosquito prevention is the key. That primarily means use mosquito repellent. The types of mosquito repellent you can buy at any regular store that contain DEET are safe in pregnancy. There's also clothing you can buy that has chemicals impregnated into the, into the cloth that repel mosquitoes as well. It's really important to cover your skin. Don't leave any exposed skin. And also, if you're traveling in these areas, staying indoors where you have screens and even potentially mosquito nets to reduce the chance of mosquitoes actually coming into contact with you from the outside. Women who are thinking about getting pregnant and have traveled to one of these areas and either have been or potentially have been infected should wait at least eight weeks after that event before they try to get pregnant. Men need to wait about six months. It turns out the virus is being found in semen for much longer than in blood and other body fluids. So there is a risk that even from a few months ago, a uh, husband could have traveled, become infected, brings it home, and now we have a real problem, which is what we want to prevent. Definitely notify your doctor if you've traveled to any of these areas in the last six months. And also consult the CDC website for more information. We'll put a link below. And check out our website if you have other questions or you can put comments at the bottom of the video. And we'll be happy to get back to you about those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.